How's it going, everybody? Welcome to the Liberty Bowl. And, well, it's that time of year again. It's Pride Month, which means time to expose some more teachers for grooming and sexualizing your kids, right? So we're going to go ahead and uh, check out some stuff coming on out of California. Yeah, big surprise, California, right? Seems as a, a lot of, uh, you know, left-wing policy and, uh, you know, left-wing ideologies, it, you know, California seems to be the the epicenter where it all you know starts and then it seems to just flow downstream down the fucking disgusting polluted stream all the way into the rest of American culture right so we're gonna go ahead and uh, check out some news articles we're gonna go ahead and check out some videos and some other bullshit out of California and uh yeah happy pride month everybody here we go <coughs> All right, let's do this, you guys. America is a nation that can be defined in a single word. I was going to foot him. Uh, foot, foot. We're losing our democracy. More inflation. What a stupid son. Before we get into that, let's get in to this. All right, so Sherman Oaks Middle School teacher charged with sexually assaulting two students. So out of Sherman Oaks, California. Big surprise, right? So a man who works as a middle school teacher in Sherman Oaks has been charged with sexually assaulting two eighth grade students, officials announced Thursday. Corrine Spahn, 47, was charged with lewd acts on a child under 14 and one misdemeanor count of child molestation, according to the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office. Investigators allege Spahn, a teacher at Louis Armstrong Middle School, started having inappropriate communication with a student in April that led to the grooming. The grooming then allegedly led to inappropriate and unlawful touching, officials said. That same month, Spawn is accused of assaulting a second student on school property during lunchtime. The defendant has pled not guilty and is set to appear in court on June 21st. The children deserve to feel safe and secure in their environment, and it is the responsibility of adults to protect them from any form of abuse or exploitation, District Attorney George Gascon said. These types of crimes against vulnerable students are sickening and a violation of trust. Yeah, no shit, huh? So the case is being investigated by the Los Angeles Police Department. Anyone who believes they may have been victimized by Spawn is asked to call authorities at blah, 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 blah. So, you know, of course, it's being handled by the uh, Los Angeles Police Department. So, you know, that's that's fitting to be, you know, booked up, solved right away. You know, top priority. Man, you could guarantee that. We have top men working on it right now. Who? Top men. All right, so, you know, as I mentioned quite frequently, and, you know, especially uh, right now during Pride Month, this type of story, you know, these types of uh, situations, these types of things at schools are not uncommon. As a matter of fact, they happen literally every single day here in America, right? The part that really kind of gets me and, you know, the part that I really uh, always make to a point of is the fact that it always seems to be a local news reporting on it, right? This is never really national news, you know, children getting molested at these, you know, uh, government funded, you know, taxpayer funded schools. That's that's not national news. That's not something that people actually, you know, care about, right? I mean, obviously, you know, people should care about that, but, you know, it's not something that they that they could put out there that's going to make people afraid, right? Yeah, I mean, that, that type of, um, you know, reporting and stuff may change here soon as we move toward a more conservative, I guess you would say, um, you know, maybe more libertarian, something like that. I'm not really too sure. But basically, as we start to pull hard away from the far left woke ideology, right, we're going to start seeing more of this type of stuff on the, the mainstream news. And the reason for that is because it is something to keep people afraid right the news only reports on stuff that they could use to keep people afraid to basically keep people afraid so that way they could put more faith in government and uh you know basically look to government to solve all their problems right and that's the the entire uh, reason for the news that's why they constantly report on things like gun violence and stuff like that because the objective right now of the government is to go ahead and ban guns right 
So if the objective does soon become, you know, by the government to gain more power to, uh, you know, basically regulate teachers, regulate, you know, uh, you know, basically protect your kids from, from grooming and stuff like that, which, you know, most of us would agree they should, then that is what the mainstream media is going to start to report on. They're going to start to report on this type of stuff more often because again, it's if, you know, the, the, uh, the political topic of, of the day, you know, the, the, uh, the talk du jour is basically about protecting kids and basically about, you know, protecting kids from, from grooming and teachers and stuff like that. It's, uh, basically going to become mainstream moves. It's going to become the, uh, you know, the thing that everybody's talking about. All right. So we're going to go ahead and uh, finish it up here with a video out of a high school in, of course, California, right? Just keep in mind, this type of stuff isn't just a California thing. I know, you know, California seems to be the epicenter of woke, but this is basically what's going on in all of these, you know, big city, you know, uh, uh, public schools all over the nation right now, right? So basically what it is, is this is, I guess, a sex education class. And, you know, I, I remember when I was going to school, you know, sex education and stuff like that, it was about, you know, uh, reproduction, actual reproduction, not these new reproductive health, you know, which is basically a uh, new term for abortion, but it was actually about, you know, how babies are made. And then it also talked a lot about, you know, diseases, things like that, you know, uh, the negative possible consequences of, you know, unprotected sex, things like that. That type of stuff seems to have gone out the window. They don't talk about that anymore. Now, instead of sexual health, it's now sexual methodology, it seems like, right? Sexual methodology and ideology. So go ahead and uh, check out this video. Um, yeah, it, it's absolute madness. You know, like I said, they're not teaching about reproduction. You know, they're not teaching sexual health. They're teaching sexual methods, right? Go ahead and check it out. Is where the prostate is. So you don't have to go inside the booty hole. You can actually just push on the seam and that stimulates the prostate gland as well. And that, oh, they apparently really like that. Um, but yeah, so that's why for male and male, anal sex is still very pleasurable because of the fact that it hits the, it hits the prostate and there's a lot of nerve endings in your booty as well. So the girls, the G-spot, prostate, they're the equivalent to each other. But apparently that's why if you ever see like, I mean, Target has them now, sex toys. If you go to Target, seriously, if you go to Target and go where the tampons and pads are, they have, they just look like a little box. But if you open up, the, there's like a Velcro front to the box, you open it up and then bam, sex toy. And uh, you'll see them. Uh, CBS, yes, CBS has them too, a lot of them. And so that's why when you look at the, the toys, a lot of them look like this. And the reason because is... Right? What I tell you, they're teaching about methodology, not about health or anything like that, right? So anyway, yeah, go ahead and uh, continue to try and tell me that, oh, they're not grooming your kids, right? That's just conspiracy theory, Ooh, right? Yeah, no bullshit. It's going on every day here in America, every day in your cl in uh, your public schools that are, you're paying for with your tax money, right? The tax papers. Your kids are being indoctrinated into an ideology that is completely anti uh, American completely anti your family values completely anti family in general and uh you know into complete depravity and in many cases as we see here you know they're being outright sexualized in you know explicit ways right all right so now in completely unrelated news uh Joe Biden went ahead and took another spill at the Air Force Academy's graduation and everybody could not get enough of it right everybody cheered as loud as they could and yeah some people had a bit of a look of disappointment on their face seeing as this is our commander-in-chief right but ultimately that's what you go to a joe biden speech for you don't necessarily go for some wise words from joe biden right you go there to see him make an ass of himself right and that he sure did in this video all right go ahead and check it out 